Fuck that. Who, who knows how long the preview can take? It's like we are on Just like, time. oh, there it is. See, preview. Starting live. Starting live. Oh, okay. It's coming. It, now we're live, finally. Thank you for joining us on the Auburn <laughs> Medical Group YouTube program with Dr. Green Knight, where we discuss... Hey. Where we, where we discussed the Dr. Green Knight article for this week. Yeah. Which was about ticks. That's why we call this show TikTok. Get it? <laughs> okay. It's a live uh, show. <laughs> we don't have a studio so, audience. That's so the problem. <laughs> we actually do have a live audience, but they're, we, they're, they're not studio. They're so out we don't in the get ether. any. Yeah. So they will be uh, sending in messages, which Dr. Oh, look, you've already got oh, yeah. people. Yeah, Anna Black, Charles Thank you. Ziegler. Thank you, Anna and Charles. Thank you for uh, watching the show and being here on time. You will not get a tardy for today like the rest of the class. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway. before we we have things to talk about today. Yeah. We have yeah, some exciting things. Let's let's just throw out a little tease of what's what's coming. Ooh. This will be coming. Yeah. So, uh, so we'll talk a little bit about the article. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, check it out. Um, that is about ticks. Obviously. A link in the description, which I yep. just fixed as I... Yeah. <laughs> description below. We, we are on time, but um, I did fix the yeah, link. Yeah, he had to run and go fix that, that yeah. link. But it is there, and it it, it is a nice little um, concise uh, um, compendium yeah. of ticks. Good information. Um, and, and what you need to know. So And we'll be going out. over all of it here. Yeah, we will. Verbally. Still check it out. I like people. <laughs> and subscribe. And subscribe. And yes. Like and share. Because if you subscribe, then you'll be getting it in your inbox on and Monday mornings, stuff. and then you can read it and be all uh, educated yeah. and ready to ask us any questions that come up, which we appreciate. Well, we we're ready to answer those. People are always wanting good sources of medical information. The Dr. Green Knight blog is actually good information, and it's timely information. It's yeah. stuff that's in the news or going right. on or cases that we're having here in our office. So if you're a, a medical information junkie or just want good, accurate stuff to go look uh, when you want information you want something good and accurate that you can go to you want to be able to use dr green knight blog yes. it's good for searching for topics that right. we may have already talked about yeah or yeah, that you've written about ones. Mm -hmm. yeah and the okay. um library just keeps building on all those posts it so does. um those you can look at old ones and and i'm just keep adding so, yeah. yeah so that's that's we'll be talking yep. about TikTok. Yep. and there's something new with the dr green knight blog that just happened this weekend somebody called our jokes dad jokes we are dads. We are. We are both dads. How can we and make mom jokes over mom? We, we, we're dads. <laughs> <laughs> the, the TikTok. I guess that was a dad joke. I guess. Anyways. All right. Sorry. Anyways, back to what, this what, weekend. What happened this weekend? On on Dr. Green Knight. Yeah. Uh, excited. So I uh, pulled the trigger on setting up a Patreon account. You did it. Um, to you finally did it. To get some support for I'm the so blog. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> Our boy's growing. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, I, I figured I've been doing it. I've, I've uh, put out enough content that I've established uh, that is good, you know, good, useful content that's it, it reliable and, and and trustworthy. And now that I've got that, I'm actually coming up on a year, uh, so I wanted to, um, yeah, to put up a Patreon account, get, try to get a little money, maybe make the website a little better, and um, and maybe get a little compensation for yeah. all, the, all the time I put into it. That'd be nice. So yeah, yeah, yeah it, it, it it's worth yeah. it. So. Uh, you so already check it out. have. You already have patrons. I already have two patrons. <laughs> one of them sitting right next to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, and so. the other one is she on here? Is she there? Is she? Here? Oh, oh, I don't see that she's commented on yet. Well, oh, would, special yeah. shout out. Yes. Hopefully, she'll be joining us. To let me see who's there while you're to talking. To Sir Boo Boo Kitty. I thought that was Petra Rosenberg's picture. Yeah. Hi, so, Petra. Hey. We're glad that you're live. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so mean, we're, we're so doing the a live show, but you're live, live watching us while yes. we're live. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, so the different levels, I, I was actually kind of proud of myself at the different levels for my Patreon. Very so, creative. Yeah. Yes, thank yes. you. Appreciate awesome. it. But the, but the highest level is the night of the round table uh, level. And nobody's done that yet. Yeah. That's what Boo Kitty did. Oh, she did the night of the round yeah, table. Yeah, she did. So now she, she from now on, level? we can call her Sir Boo Kitty. <laughs> Because he was very creative and coming up with his rewards. Yeah, check it out. At least check it out just for the humor. I I, I, I had fun writing it. You can at least have fun some fun reading it. So, <laughs> all right. So so what else? Who else do we have here? Anna well, Black, I was going to talk Bledsoe. about the the news item. Dragon Ball for life. 
I've heard the that news before. item. Oh, do we want to start out with some um, in the news? There, in the news. In the medical in the news. news. Let's start out with that. Excuse me while I go to the newsroom. Oh, it's Petra in, Sa- Petra in South Sweden. Yeah, that's where she is. Yeah. It's good okay. to see you. So, uh, well, we don't see you. News really? item. This is printed out. It was a Reuters uh, article from, well, whenever Polly printed it, it was four hours ago. So, certainly this afternoon. Yeah. And this is right along the lines of, well, you, many of you know about the uh, the Kickstarter that I did for the uh, web series that I'm making. The pilot is in editing right now. We're done with picture and we're now doing audio and coming up with our, our score. So hopefully it'll be completed by the end of this month because there's a competition I want to have it enter. Yeah. The it's a doctor's office and patients come in with different things and we try to, in the midst of being entertaining with a medical drama web series, throw in a little bit of pertinent information to make some real to it, but also right. something that is good to know and, and shows what uh, the truth is. And one of them is opiate yeah. addiction. Opiate Again, opiate. reliable, truthful medical information. Always yes. looking for that. Yes. So that uh, this that's what this article is about from Reuters and, and we'll just tell you that the the bottom line here is that Walmart lots of pharmacies Sam's pharmacies people want you to get to the point go get go. to the point said on Monday <laughs> today this or the that tips, it would restrict but... initial acute opioid prescriptions to no more than seven day supply yeah there it is it's happening uh, and, and we're not crying about it. Restrictions are being made on opiates. We are um, we are totally okay yeah. with with. Well, I, so, I won't speak for so you. That's but. our our PSA. Uh, if you get less than seven days for your acute pain, it's because it's becoming commonplace. So because how many deaths? 115 deaths per day yeah, on average. Yeah, which is crazy from opioid people overdoses. Dying. Yeah. So, so. The, the we we know that there's people saying that uh, they need the the drugs for longer than seven days, right. but we know that we don't need to be killing 115 people a day. Yeah, it is one so, of those where you got to weigh the risk versus the benefit, and yeah. the risk is extremely high. Death. Extremely high. People are dying. Yeah. So finally, this is getting recognized, and thankfully, our office has been ahead of the curve on this thing. Yes. So it's not really affecting us. No, not really. I mean, yeah, we're we're um we're pretty good on this because yeah, we we're, we're already there. We are so, opioid averse. I guess we, you say. We, so we, people want us to get to the point. They're already asking questions about ticks here. Do they live in mulch? No. And if you read Dr. Greennut, you'll see where do they uh, where hang do out? They uh, tall grassy areas. If uh, and you walk by and you brush one of those, they'll kind of um, uh, transfer onto you. Uh, brushy areas, um, uh, bushes and stuff like that. That's typically where they are. In mulch and in the ground, no, not so much. They live on foliage. Okay, and we also have the video of the tick removal. That that's right, a little uh, teaser. We will um, yeah, because we had a great one in the office last week. We pulled out the iPhone and, and yeah. we, we got it. Put a little lens on it, a little macro yeah. lens on oh, the man. iPhone, it's, so it's, you can see it's it. Good, uh, D- should we show good. that now? Yeah, let's start out with okay. that. Yeah, you guys well, want like the videos? Let, let's queue up. Uh, let's queue up tick the video. video here. Let's see. How do we do that? Well, we would. <laughs> we need a director or a technical director. Here we go. <laughs> we need somebody besides so, us doing we, all of our own stuff. Here we go. This is the tick <laughs> removal. You guys, you want to see what oh, they're yeah, seeing. That's right. This is what they're watching right oh, now. Oh, look at that. There it is. That many viewers are watching. And and in the article, Dr. Gwayne talks about how do you remove a tick? How do you do it? Yeah. So so you can see he's got some tweezers. It is attached. That was him trying to remove it just by kind of moving it along the skin. And it is not moving. Just so, seeing if it actually is attached. And there you can and, see yep, there it, it is. is attached. And you YouTube people, don't mark this as age inappropriate. There's no blood. <laughs> this is like blood. I'm sorry about the... I'm sorry. That, that was my fault for all uh, the interference there. So he grasps it as close to the skin as possible. As close as possible. That's why I did all that messing around with us. Trying yep. to get close. Yep. And then slow, and firm. Then pulling up. As gentle as possible. Actually, I was kind of nice, going sideways. Gentle pressure. Yeah, you're supposed to go straight up. And look at that. No blood. Awesome. Oh, removal. look at Good that. Good job, That's doctor. Beautiful. beautiful. Good job. Yay. Yeah. There we are. That was okay. great. And, and then What I, do you think? Did you do a good job? I guess I can read some of the comments. I guess I shouldn't be so proud, but I'm I'm really pleased with how that one went. I showed it. To, well, let me show you what I showed the patient. I uh, immediately after <gasps> that. Boo Boo's here. Oh, Boo Boo, you are our guest of honor. You you are the patron. Day late or on your blog again. Okay. Day late. 
What do you mean well, daylight? daylight? It's I, Monday. It's, it's Monday. We release it on Monday. Today's I, Monday. <laughs> Are we in it? Did we I, lose time? But, but you lose? missed the earlier part where we referred to you as Sir Boo Boo Kitty. Sir Boo Boo. And thank so, you. Appreciate it. Moving back, we want to show the actual uh, tick after I removed it. This is pretty cool. I was able to... Hey, somebody says twist him off. Twist him off. No. No, 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 no. no. Don't twist. No, don't twist. Twisting will make the mouth parts fall off, and then you've got to dig and get those mouth parts. So what kind of tick do we have here? This? What kind of tick is it? It's a common tick. Once we can see it. There it is. On the dogs, it's got that uh, that design back there you kind of recognize from when they get really big. Right. Yeah, this is not one of those uh, yeah scary ticks that... uh, it that was it came off disease. alive and well. Yeah, because of it was removal. able to to crawl off. Um, and the nice thing is, if you remove it like that and it's still living, you can actually y- y- kill it. But the best way to kill it is not to smash it, not to do anything. You actually either want to put it in tape. Strangely enough, then it that works. Can't go anywhere. Can't, 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 go, can't go and feed. Or put it in a Ziploc bag, something where it is um, airtight. And that is actually a good idea in case you need the tick later for testing, in case you start to develop any of the symptoms. Now, they don't uh, like it if they get all dried out or desiccated. No, they don't. So how do we keep that from happening if we take it to the uh, the lab? You know what? I didn't read anything on that. I, I would think that being it being in the tape would be better for the desiccation rather than um, in a airtight mm-hmm. container. They so. they like it to be moistened with something with it. I don't know if it's saline, water, or alcohol. It's one of those three. <laughs> one of saline and bad. water are similar, so one of them's bad. Probably the alcohol's bad. I would imagine. Okay, I, that's what. I, I if, if we really did our prep thoroughly for this <laughs> show, we'd tell you exactly what to put it in. But you're gonna have to call the county health department to find out because yep. they do the testing and they know what they want. And if it changes, hey, you called the place. You know, even if we told you the wrong. All right, so what kind of comments are coming So on, on somebody says text? that's amazing video quality. I hope that. Oh, I'm that's, sorry about the. I, I don't know if he's serious about actually there. seeing it or the pixelation because yeah, that yeah, could be that, taken as a. That, that <laughs> was my fault. I, I, I should have fixed that. So. Um, so yeah, somebody said, I thought you twisted off. No, you nope. do not. No, 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 again, no, no, no. again, no, no. No, uh, no twisting off. Um, Get as close to the, and, the yep. attachment as possible, the head. Yep. And gentle, as gentle as you can, but still have it come out. You don't want to be slipping. Um, I've had that happen before. Um, some people are still talking about the opioids and, and the amount per day. The amount per day is supposed to be less than 90 milliequivalents. Mo- um, mil- sorry, what am I trying? Morphine uh, milliequivalents. So that is... Um, What's that in milligrams? 90 milligrams. 90 milligrams, okay. Uh, yeah, more, so for a fentanyl patch, and I think that's what somebody was asking, a 25 microgram per hour patch of mm-hmm. uh, fentanyl is equivalent to 60 um, mil equivalent per day of, um, of morphine. morphine. So anything bigger than that, like a 50, that'd be 120. That's over the 90 day milli- 90. milligram equivalents of um, morphine. So most people on fentanyl patches are over the recommended uh, dosages and um, yeah, it's it's something that you probably will see legislation or laws coming about uh, soon, yeah. where where those may even be um, outlawed. Strangely enough, there have already been uh, um, senators who have been making very strong um, cases or strong um, what do we want to say Argu- uh, arguments against that, and actually been telling a lot of the. Um, uh, companies to stop producing anything over 90 yeah. mil equivalents of morphine per day. So, um, yeah, more more on that in the future. That's definitely a um, so uh, cutting since, edge thing that we need to watch. Since we're not sitting here yeah. in front of a patient, it actually makes it very easy to talk about what are we going to do if we had it somebody. It is, but the problem is... What's going on in their I do have a system. few patients on fentanyl that, that may, you know, may need to change that. Um, yeah. And... Uh, we may need to back off to something less than 90 milli equivalents of morphine per day. So, um, using a lot of other things. Oh, this kind of falls into that so-called chronic Lyme. I know. Don't hit me for saying those words together. <laughs> yeah, you'll you'll if you read the blog, you'll find that the the term chronic Lyme disease is um, not an accepted term. Um, so. Yeah, I guess we're kind of getting a little crossover here. Yeah, should we talk, should we talk about Lyme so disease? Talk we didn't even that. talk about Lyme disease. Let's talk about it's uh, in the article. True Lyme disease in the blog post. Uh, if you get bit by a tick that is harboring the Lyme bacteria, Lyme disease bacteria called Borrelia burgdorferi, and it's typically transmitted by the deer tick. 
um, mm-hmm. which is a small tick. It's really small. Exotis um, pacificus or Exotis scapularis. Well, what, yeah, if you're smart and know big words like that. Uh, <clears throat> um, but it, I know uh, it when I see it. <laughs> you know it's when you see it. It's got a red butt. Yeah, that's right. Black um, thorax. Yeah. Uh, it, um, so if you get it, you can start to get symptoms of Lyme disease. And there are short uh, sim- well, early symptoms and late symptoms, like and the early couple ones. Weeks and yeah, you can start to months. feel um, s- kind of fatigued, flu-like symptoms, fever, fatigue, body aches. But the the hallmark sign, which about eighty percent of people get, is this uh, rash that it's called a bullseye rash or erythema migrans, and it, and it's this red rash that kind of expands out, and it can actually, if it's in an area where it can, it can expand out to a foot across in redness with blanching in the middle and then a little red around the area of the bite. So it looks like a bullseye. Strand. Not a perfect circle. Not perfect. Yeah, it's, it's kind of it's, it's but, but it's still. More like your four-year-old with a crayon. Circle. Yeah, yeah, more like that. Yeah. 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 Um, and, and that's uh, early Lyme. If you start to develop that rash after being bit by a tick, you've got to see a doctor. You've got to be treated you with get treat, antibiotics. You treated quick. Yeah, yeah, because then it can, if, go, if it goes untreated, then it can move yeah. into the late symptoms, which are much more serious, much and more dangerous. may not go away. Right, exactly. They can um, persist. But we don't call it chronic Lyme. We don't, yeah. So, but, but yeah, if th- some of those symptoms. later ones uh, are the scary ones are neurologic symptoms. You can get um, meningitis. Uh, mm-hmm. You can get uh, nerve pr- paralysis. Well, not so much now, paralysis, pain and numbness. Tingling over the face, the arms, the, the, the legs. Now I'm uh, reminded heart problems of a lot of people who have a chronic fatigue, right? And they are actually even writing books about their experience and how it's changed their life, and not necessarily had a tick bite, right? Yeah. So the 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 chronic Lyme disease. There are you can find these um, doctors who will treat chronic Lyme disease with long-term antibiotics, often IV antibiotics. Um, there is, so chronic Lyme disease is actually an erroneous term. It's not, there's no such thing. It has been used to describe a lot of things that aren't even in association with um, Lyme disease in general. But there, also true Lyme disease effects too. Yes, yeah. Um, the, there is a condition called post-treatment Lyme disease syndrome, uh, PTLDS, and uh, it is a condition that has a lot of those things, fatigue, uh, muscle aches and pains that go on for a long term after treatment. Also uh, refers disease. to a, a condition where people have had a bad experience with the Mormon church. PT, LDS. PT, I, LDS. I get it. Dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> Post-traumatic LDS. Latter-day Saints <laughs> syndrome. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. You said PTLDS. PTLDS. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, so uh, that, they've done some studies but on But the Mormons it. are so nice. They're not hating on us. <laughs> like, like all these people. <laughs> like all these people. They don't like that we're jumping back and forth on oh, stuff. So oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, oh you right. are a more organized program. So you came to us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, right. So... Um, the, good, yeah, the, the studies have been done um, on treating uh, PTLDS with long-term antibiotics, weeks and weeks of IV ver- IV antibiotics, and even oral antibiotics, and it doesn't improve it. This this PTLDS actually is very similar to fibromyalgia or um, chronic fatigue syndrome, and we treat yeah. it similarly and and get similar results. Yeah. So. Yeah, with lots of antidepressants. Antidepressants. Not, is... not necessarily treating for depression, but for this chronic pain, and uh, I'm not quite sure how it helps with the fatigue, but it's the same medicines that we use for chronic pain. Yep. Uh, and there's actually some specific classes of antidepressants that have the indication for this. Right. Um, they're also used as antidepressants, but this is to address the pain symptoms. Yep. Right. Yeah. And there's other things we use for chronic pain, whether it be from this or exactly. something the we were non, using opiates, non-opiates. for. Mm-hmm. See, I came back around to the opiates thing. That's That was planned. Oh, my goodness. We really need to focus. We're, we're Yeah. Boo boo kitties doing so Focus, chat. focus. We'll only focus if you give us money, apparently. <laughs> I, I brought it back around. You brought it. You did. Okay. You did. What are we focusing on? No. So, <laughs> yeah, we kind of hit the, the major topics we wanted to and, and, yeah. and did talk about this whole chronic. I, I could actually tell you a little bit more about this chronic Lyme thing, but a lot of my viewers and uh, followers have, have heard me talk about it before. One. So it's it's the dollar ninety nine one. We found out last it? time that you can't. Is it Boo Boo again? Again. 
She's just doing a series yeah, of just, them. Just, just, is, is there anything in particular she wants us to answer? Yeah. Or? Do you need us to answer anything, Booba Kitty? Yeah. I need to find out what you want me to write a post on, because that is oh. one of the things you can do at the Night of the Roundtable. Level. Also, Boo Boo, I sent you a Facebook message <laughs> asking for your mailing address so I can <laughs> send you the, doc, uh, the Mrs. Hayworth script that you... Uh, pledged for in the Kickstarter because we appreciate all the pledges. <laughs> we do. It's time. It's time for me to send that to you, and I need an address, a mailing address. So get on Facebook and uh, do it through Messenger there. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. That was a personal message. The rest of you. Uh, you <laughs> yeah. Can, you sorry. Can look now, now you can now. go back. Yeah. You can come back. But you got, you got your snack from the fridge. But hey, come if back. you're you, you become a Patreon. We'll give you a nice attention like that too. <laughs> yes. We'll give you attention if and, you're not. And super chats. And which super is available chats. on iOS now. Which is, yeah. Apparently yeah. only for $1.99. So, that's what so, we found. So out. you iPhone users have no excuse for <laughs> Leshmaniasis. Wow, that's oh. impressive that somebody knows uh, that wow. term. That oh, is look, a look, tick look, 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 born look, look, look. illness. Boo boo again. You have to focus on chat. We rule. Oh, we have to focus on that. That's what we want to focus on. Not focus on the task at hand. Not not the or the not the thing we've been advertising we've been for talking. a week that we're going to talk about. That, does that mean I need to go back people. here and find out who uh, who said things? What do I need to talk about then? All right. Well, apparently leishmaniasis. Um, somebody is on nine hundred milligrams of morphine per day. Oh man. What? Oh, I'm so sorry that your doctor did that to you. Nine hundred. Um, it's, I've never seen such a thing. Uh, weaning down is, is the thing to do, but you should do it under a controlled environment. What would that do to someone's sure. body? That's a lot of a lot of morphine. Can you even have a bowel movement? Yeah, that's a big, yeah. Oh, it must would... be very painful bowel movement, so you need pain medicine. <laughs> yeah. Because of the constipation caused by the pain medicine. Um, that's a bad cycle. Right, exactly. Uh, wean down. I, it, it's uh, safe to go down by 10% per week. That's the safe uh, weaning yeah. where you won't get really bad um, withdrawal withdrawal symptoms. That's what's recommended. I'm here to feed words. And <laughs> Thanks, appreciate With, it. Withdrawal. <laughs> um, and, and it should be done under your doctor's care. Don't just do it. Oh, yourself. absolutely. Let your doctor know about it. Um, and there are medications. If you do start to develop some of those withdrawal symptoms, there are medications that can help you through that. Can there help are, with withdrawal. Um, and uh, there's a big debate going on in the medical community uh, whether um, you should switch that out for buprenorphine um, or, oh gosh, what's the other name? Which you can't just prescribe. You have to go through a program. You actually, yeah, so, need to see how so we haven't done it. who is, who is um, yeah, anyway. who's cleared to prescribe that. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, that, that's, uh, that's like yeah, the thing they're using now in down, methadone. Um, because it, it is one of those things that is... Eventually, there is going to be legislation, probably like it or not. It, it's yeah. how it's going to happen. So, yeah. I don't have a problem with it. I, I must say that the um, pain medicine doctors obviously have a problem with this. Um, they they prescribe a lot of pain medications, and it's their their livelihood. So they're they are opposing this. The mills, well, probably them too. Yeah, <laughs> but even, even the good, yeah, the good. Yeah, the, yeah, there are good pain medications. Yeah, there are. Yeah. So, wow. You sound like our racist uncle. Have you talked to Petra? She's here. To, we did say hi to Petra. Yeah, we, we said hi to Petra. We saw her. The only we way. Did, <laughs> we did that before Boo Boo uh, yeah. found us. Sorry. We did we did say hi to Petra, and we do appreciate that she's there. She is here. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So, Leishmaniasis, that is not the one you get from meat. That is another um, tick-borne illness. Cryptosporidium. Oh, the only yeah, thing I remember from born. that, that's not tick-borne, but the only thing I remember about cryptosporidium is it's like copious amounts of diarrhea. India, like, India ink stain. Right? Yeah. Oh, man. You can get there, there are things like you learn, learn in medical school that just kind of clicks in the back of your head. That's one that does because copious it is diarrhea. a nice. crazy amount of diarrhea. Anyways. <laughs> but it can affect digestive tract. It can affect central um, nervous system. Let's see. Why would they test me for Lyme disease when they were diagnosing me with MS? Great question, Dave. I don't know the answer to that. A lot of people go looking for it. The problem yeah. is they find it. Yeah, and when they find it, what is it going to help you or change the treatment? And, and there's a lot um, of false positives. And, yeah. and uh, The problem is M MS can give you a lot of the symptoms, symptoms of, I, I put that in quote, chronic Lyme disease because um, fatigue is a big, big PTLDS. symptom of, uh, <laughs> uh, fatigue is a big symptom of uh, MS. Big one. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah, um, neurologists kind of do that commonly, and, and you, 
there's different flavors of doctors that do the testing for it. And uh, and we, we tend to listen to the infectious disease uh, trained right. doctors Yeah, that uh, their field is infectious disease, whereas there's the people that actually use that term oh. chronic Lyme and test oh, and, and treat. Uh, and, and they're actually usually not, or I don't know, are any no. of them actual infectious disease fellows? Usually not, or, or no, they're usually... Certain? Internal medicine okay. doctors. Petra, I am so sorry. She's on fentanyl now since her cancer is worse and incurable. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. Um, that there are a few cases where strong pain medications are completely appropriate. And, and, and we will still be able to give them to situations. Yes. Like and that. The, and that, that won't be a problem. That won't be an issue. I'm so yeah. sorry. Oh, gosh. Yeah. She's been having a... For the years, yeah, she's been so sharing sorry. her journey with, with everybody. Yeah. 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 Gosh. I mean, we we hadn't heard from you in a while, and, and I I was actually thinking about you the other day, trying yeah. to, uh, as I was setting up my Patreon account, not because I wanted you to, but because you were one of Mark's Patreons, yes. and it kind yeah. of reminded me, and, yeah. and I, we hadn't heard from you in a while. Well, I'm so sorry you're going through that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She she's been there since the early days for us. Yeah, yeah. Um, so now we have people frightened that they uh, are their medications are going to be stopped. No, they can't just stop it. You're right; they will not just stop it, um, but you probably should start making some changes now yeah. before start. you're forced to. Have your plan in place. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because it, it, it is going to happen. And then I think somebody else was um, on a Dilaudid pump. Oh, my psych goodness. Psychiatry is yeah. one place that Strong stuff. that we recommend yep. getting help from. Um, a a good pain management doctor. Yeah. There are the pain mills out there, and that'll just keep yeah, they dosing just like you up to crazy amounts, like 900 milligrams of uh, morphine. Um, so you need to find a good pain management doctor who is dedicated yeah. to getting you down and off the medications. Yeah. And, that and is why is it a psychiatrist that we're talking about? Um, a lot of people will just have this defense come up, you know, that we're, we're saying they're crazy or something, or, or they don't really hurt. Right. Um, yeah. Or, and, and how can you think that's going to help my real pain that I feel from a real thing that happened to me? Exactly. Yeah. We need to, to let the people know. Things change. Uh, chronic pain is different than acute pain. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not, uh, chronic pain is when it switches over from being due to a condition that is curable and treatable within the body to a um, mental condition where there is... N that's a bad way of putting wow. it. Wow. Uh, wow. I'm, I feel like I'm getting PTLDS right now. To a PTLDS. Uh, to a, a problem that is... Um, well, it's the, it's the way the nerves work. Yeah, it, it's a problem with the way your brain is responding to pain nerves. Or, or, or maybe it's I mean actually the mental. peripheral nervous system. Not that sure. it's a psychological problem. Um, so what happens is when you take these medicines, you still experience the same yeah, sensation exactly. here... But you feel that it's down here. Uh, I, I point to the lower back, of course, because it's a common it's location. It's the most common place, yeah. Uh, so your, sen your experience subjectively is the same as a person who's having acute pain as far as something hurts. It's what we would call pain. Some people prefer to use the word suffering. And it happens when people use opiates for too long that that continues to happen even though the injury is, is healed, the tissue damage right is no longer an acute inflammatory process. The, the damage has happened, the healing has occurred, yet they still hurt. Well, that still hurting is from something that changed the way the nerves work. Right. Yeah, and um, when you're taking the pain medication, it actually messes up uh, the pain receptors within your brain. Yeah. And you can get a condition called opioid-induced hyperalgesia. Which is actually which is a term used in Madison Woman. Oh, hey, it's addressed. Our yeah. actress learned how to say it. Yeah. Um, somebody's got pseudomonas of the bones from a psychiatric and pain consultant. Interesting. I don't know how that happened. Wow. Well, that's, that's, that sounds horrible. That sounds like something that would be written in a journal. That yeah. sounds so unique. Wow. Um, what I'm pain consultant. I don't know. I, I'm curious how that happened. I don't know. That's interesting. Um, I have an awesome pain specialist. Oh, excellent. There we go. Excellent. She's got about the contact information so everybody can go to <laughs> Uh, and she's getting improvement from her uh, treatment. That's good. There we go. That's what we want. Thank you for giving yes. everybody else hope that's uh, in yeah. the situation of looking for answers further. Yep. And we didn't even say this was going to be out with chronic pain. It just happened that this was the article today. And so we talked about what's timely. And we do have a lot of people that are going through this process of being on these medicines and needing, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe not even knowing that they want to right. get off of them or right. that that's 
what the best future is for them. Mm -hmm. And we're helping to steer you that way. Um, we're going to get through this. Yeah. 10 years now, pseudomonas infection. Yeah, that's a tough one sometimes. Does 900 milligram foul. I don't understand that, Brio. Sorry. Okay. Did you have anything else for our, our folks this week? Is it true that ticks can get you pregnant? If Booby you're a kitty. If you're a female tick. <laughs> yeah. We're still working on if some you basic... you are a tick yeah. and a female tick, yes. You yeah. That. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you are a tick. We're, we're still working on some basic health education with Boo Boo sometimes. <laughs> she, she was... Oh, out. repellents for ticks. That's, Let's that's, talk that about is that. addressed in the... Um, uh, article. It so 20% uh, DEET containing solutions um, over your, your skin, that would be like off. Um, but doesn't that cause deep, neurologic symptoms? Deep woods, I believe it's called. Um, Do I want to put that on my child? Yeah. Yes. It's, it's better, better than, than Lyme disease. <laughs> it's Actually, there's no, it's not going to cause any, I mean, yeah. don't eat it. So don't put it on <laughs> Don't spray it in mouth, your kid's mouth. Eyes, uh, yeah, the, don't, don't put it around their face. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, don't. But but, but, we, but we do recommend using DEET because yeah. the, the the risk is right so low compared to the risk of having diseases from ticks. Mm -hmm. If you go to the Dr. Green Knight website, there's actually you can click on the link there. That'll take you to Amazon too. Uh, so oh, cool. there is it is an affiliate link, so I do get a little compensation if you do that. You're so, so good at giving your disclaimer. It is a disclaimer. It yeah. seemed natural, uh, and well. then. Um, there is also uh, something you can use on your clothes, 0.05% uh, mm -hmm. permethrin, um, which you can kind of buy as a spray and spray it on your clothes. Yeah. And actually, that's good for like pretty much the whole season. You spray it on your clothes. It, what if you even, wash them? Even after washing, it, oh, it really? persists. Yeah, yeah that's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Yeah, it, you can look on the back of the, the bottle. You can probably get you that how at often. REI? Or yeah, no REI, or... Amazon again. Um, okay. yeah, any... Oh, did you have a link to that? I also? do have a link to that as well. Yeah. Cha-ching. Yeah, yeah. The, the four cents, they'll reimburse me if you if you buy it. Okay. <laughs> we still appreciate it. It's though. all right. I I have no, um, no uh, what's the word I'm looking for, interest in those actual products. It's just Amazon. <laughs> That's right. Just buy anything it's from what, Amazon. It's what doesn't I matter use. what it is. It's just what I use. Just buy anything. No. So thank you. Uh, we may have a future episode on PTLDS if you have <laughs> church Which experiences. Is, yeah, uh, that's that's a whole different podcast. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's yeah. a psychiatric. If people really look hard, they'll find us on that. So, <laughs> uh, we would like to, one last time, throw out where they can find more and follow us. For you, it's drgreennight.com. Oh, Mary Beth has a good question. Before we go, because it was a... Um, Super chat. Where's Mary Beth? I'm starting pain management. What should I ask? Oh, I'm starting pain management tomorrow. What should I ask, please? I hope that's the question you're referring ask to. Ask them for a strategy to get you off medication. Yeah. If you are on pain medication, I would um, I would first interview them and, and see what their, their goal is in uh, treating your pain. Um, the goal should be to keep you as functional as possible on as little medication as possible. That is the goal. Yeah. Um, function is how we assess those things, not pain um, that you're having. Yeah. What can you do? What What is it you used to do and you can't do now? Right. What is it you wish you could do that you think you yeah. should be able to if this suffering or pain was not keeping you from it? Mm -hmm. And how are they going to get you there? And I don't know if you're on pain medications. If you are, um, come up with a strategy about what to do with those, uh, a long-term strategy. And, with and, your prescriber. Um, yeah, with your prescriber. If you are not on pain medications, I would recommend not starting them. Um, Don't start. Because it is a difficult road to go down and a difficult one to come back from. So, uh, I, I would, And there usually is not improvement, truly. In, I, I would say um, opiates, pain medicines. Yes, yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry, that's what I was referring opiate to. Specifically opiate pain yes, medicines. Yes. Those are the ones that are causing these problems that we're addressing here. Not, not Tylenol or acetaminophen has its own problems or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs they have their own problems yep antidepressants yeah there's some problem not not i feel more inclined to to recommend those over the other things what is a good quality pain contract a good quality pain contract um most of them say the same thing yeah it's just uh, kind of you get your drugs just, from us and nobody else yeah i'd say an agreement between you and the doctor you'll that, be discharged if you or caught doctor shopping and we can check on the right. state. Or if you're taking um, other illicit medication, I wouldn't call them illicit drugs, and yeah. they often do urine 
um, drug be testing prepared to for random. So be ready drugs. for that. Yeah, your urine will be tested. Uh, some are some don't care about um, marijuana. Some do. Yeah, uh, that's kind so of doctor that specific. So know about if, that. If that and matters. ask that. Um, use the same uh, uh, pharmacy. Use the same doctor. Um, yeah. What else did we miss? Anything else? Uh, oh, points. pill counts. Sometimes I'll ask you to come in and count your pills. And, yeah, and yeah, track exactly how it's being used because they want it to be used consistently. Our, right. Not oh, I'm using ten today. I'm using none tomorrow. Right. We get better effects with consistent use mm -hmm. um, when we're doing the situation with the chronic pain treatment. Okay. Well, thank yep. you, Dr. Gwaine. Yep. Thank you so, so much for the write-up uh, on yeah. the topic of check it out. He, he did it at my request because I got the video of the tick and then. He was so kind to, to do the write-up and, and yeah. did a good job. Yeah, I learned uh, about PTLDS. <laughs> it's actually something new to me that I learned. So, What what should we expect for next week? Or is that a secret? Um, I don't know yet. I, I have a few things okay. in the hopper that I can um, access, right. but I haven't uh, decided yet. And also, Boo Boo, get to me about what you want me to write an article about. Oh, yeah. Next she gets month to. Because you um, are she's at a patron. that level on Matron. the pat Patreon. Thanks again for joining us. So, Till next time. Dr. Gwen Vaughn, Dr. Mark Vaughn, telling you, stay in good health. See ya. And we will just go ahead and stop right there. Goodbye. <laughs>